with another video and today I'm going to show you guys my dark room. I know I had a few people asking about upgrades to my dark room and I am actually in the process of upgrading my dark room but I made a few upgrades since the last video that I filmed in there so I'm going to show you guys what my dark room looks like now and as I work on the upgrades I'm going to show you guys the things that I add to it. So if you're interested in seeing my dark room which is it's very basic and that's what I'm what I've been trying to tell y'all in my how to how I started my business or how to start a t-shirt printing business videos you don't have to spend all the money up front you can upgrade little by little the way that I did and still make money in the process so um, right now we're gonna go into the dark room okay this is actually my dark room it's it's a closet it's not real big i'll try to get the measurements for you guys okay you come into the dark room and this right here this is the place where i let my screens dry once i coat the screens i stick them right in here and it can hold six screens i got the right here one two three four five and the other one i just use a little plastic block to make space in there but that's where i dry my screens and right here you can see the fan and i turn the fan on like once i coat them with emulsion i'll put them here to dry and i'll turn the fan on and as you see right here i mean it's a small room it's not really that big this is actually where I'm storing my screens right now in a big lawn trash bag. And I just uh, keep my screens in there so that they are out of the light. And that's been working for me so far. And I really don't have much room for anything else in here other than that. And, and I rent this building, so I don't know if I probably won't be making any alterations to it. but. This right here was gonna be my drying rack. You can check out the video that I did when I had this made, but it does not fit in here. So I ended up having to go with the black trash bag and you know, it's worked for me so far. I just put the screens in there to store them once I've coated them and dry the emulsion on them. This is my, this is my exposure unit. Uh, if you can check out the video for that, the, the one that I just upgraded to. And you can see this is a very small space. Very small. I'm going to get the measurements for you. And right there you can see it's sitting on top of a hot water heater. I wish this hot water heater wasn't in there and I could do slightly more with this. I could probably put a shelf right there and have racks on the bottom to store the screens but because of that hot water heater being in here and I'm unable to move it then you know I kind of go with what I have and as you saw me remove this red plastic right here I use that to cover while I'm drying the screens just in case any emulsion or water or whatever uh, decides to try to drip off the screen so that it doesn't damage or stain my exposure unit okay and I usually coat my screens right on top of here what I usually do is I'll leave the plastic cover on there and I also get newspapers and I lay them out on here as I coat them with emulsion and this area right here I'll put the, the screens right here that I'm gonna coat and I'll get my emulsion coater and I'll tilt it put it on here and I'll tilt it in such a way and with the hand that I'm filming with right now, I'll usually coat it, you know, use my scoop coater to coat it. But yeah, this is, this is my dark room right now. And it is very basic and simple. And you can see how basic it is and it works. And I actually make money doing this. And down here, you can see I have spray bottles. Once I burn the screen, I usually place it down on the floor and I'll spray it with the spray bottle to start breaking up that emulsion that hasn't exposed so that I can see my stencil. Uh, what I have been doing is using a little sponge, just a little sponge like this, just something, you know, the little sponges, they're cheap. You can get like a pack of five or six for like a dollar 
and I would spray spray the water on there and I let it sit and then I take it and I rub rub my um image and rub off the emulsion and the reason I was doing that is because I didn't want to bring the screen out into the area you can see right here I have my yellow emulsion safe light up here and right here you can see I also have a pressure washer too but I mostly use it when I'm washing out and reclaiming screens my dark room it is very very basic and I don't even use a water hose to do my screens but I'm working up to that I'm I'm about to start using the water hose and I'm going to show you guys uh, where I wash out and reclaim my screens at. And this right here is the restroom. And this is where I reclaim my screens in this shower right here. And we don't use this shower for anything but reclaiming screens. But sometimes it gets pretty dirty and I have to clean it out. So right now I'm in the process of working on something different. So what I would do is I would have my pressure washer hooked up and I would... Uh, from outside, I would have the holes running in here and I would place my screens in here and I would spray them down and, you know, put the emulsion remover and use my pressure washer to clean them. But right now I'm in a process of working on something better. It's just a quick little video of what my dark room is looking like right now but coming up within the next two weeks i should have something better to show you guys because i'm currently in the process of working on something now so that i can start using the uh using a hose to spray out my screens once i've exposed them i'll keep you guys posted on that and i will do a video and i thank you guys for watching and if you like my videos or find them informative, please rate, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And please stay tuned for future videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.